welcome to my grounded guide where I'll be going over some basic game mechanics, structures, and creatures found in the backyard. A disclaimer though, Grounded is still in early access development with big updates coming, so some things such as geographical layout, gear, and wildlife could undergo major changes the next year. If there are any important changes, I'll go over them in later videos. In this video, I'll be going over the basics of crafting, building, exploration, and combat. There are lots of tools and weapons to create in the backyard. Picking up bug parts and other resources for the first time instantly earns you knowledge for different equipment, utilities, and structures. Further analyzing these resources can unlock higher tiered items. Everything you and your friends learn and scan is shared from any research station around the yard. Upgrades purchased through Burgle are also shared. Basic tools can be crafted on the go by hand, but advanced tools and armor will need a workbench. The workbench can access resources in any nearby storage box as well as your backpack. This makes it much easier to craft and repair for your equipment. We have the freedom to build pretty much anywhere. Well, almost. Be sure to avoid construction tape zones, at least until they undergo major changes as the game develops. When scouting for a place to call home, Look out for sources of weeds. You can scan and build with grass planks for common structures, but weed stems are a stronger material. Chopping down dandelions drops 6 planks, while using a tier 2 axe on husky weed can yield 4 to 24 stems. Setting up structures casts a blueprint. These are placeholders until it is completed and any of your friends can contribute resources to them. Wherever you decide to build, prepare your bases to have lots of storage boxes, big and small. You can label boxes with specific colored icons for easier access and organization. In this massive yard, it might seem easy to get lost in the wilderness. Thankfully, landmarks will help you remember these areas over time. When you approach an object, they will light up on your map for future reference. You can create your own custom markers for different warnings, points of interest, and bases. Different resources are based on the terrain, such as green grass having more sprigs and clovers. There are also larger sources you can break apart for more yield, such as rocks for pebbles and clumps for sap. In my previous video, I mentioned hunting is a key to maintaining your health. Routinely hunting and cooking meat is good in a pinch. The prey around the yard are usually small and rarely hostile. Cooking meat is quick boost to stats, but jerky racks will be your most effective means to preserving your food. Jerky can be stacked, does not expire, and will fill your hunger bar past 75% at the cost of only some thirst. Dew collectors, water storage, and canteens will be essential for your bases. There are plenty of threats lingering in the yard. The haze and pond pose obvious hazards, but on the move you need to keep an eye out for moving grass blades. Sometimes it's a peaceful ladybug on a stroll, but most times it's your worst nightmare. In order to prepare for these threats, you need to learn how to use the gear, weapons, and reading enemy movement. There is a wide range of melee weapons, each offering different range, stun, and rates of attack and blocks. Blocking is a mechanic that relies on timing. Watch for the buildups of foreign attack. There is a chance to perfect block, which is a counter that may cause enemies to briefly stun. As you play the game, you'll unlock mutations. These are perks to increase your stats. Three can be active at once and changed at any time. Most mutations will progress in evolution too, only requiring to do more of that activity, such as chopping down grass, busting rocks, and killing enemies. Armor has its own perks to consider too. Every set comes with their own buffs 
and when wearing all pieces, a new bonus perk stacks on top. Some armor without a set is just for utility, like the gas mask, bubble helmet, and mining hat. Next time, I'll be going over advanced building and the Shrooms in Doom update. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to check out my future Grounded guides and any of my other videos. I stream on Twitch almost daily and play Grounded on Mondays. See you then.